he gave you. You don't want to all start. Uh, greatest piece of advice. Um, you know, I think growing up as a kid, I think the biggest thing is to really enjoy it and have fun with it. I don't think if you're, if you don't have the passion and the excitement and energy to, to come here every day and, and uh, give it your all and, and realize that you know, we're living our dream for a living, um, then there's no point doing it. So I mean, every day you come here, you put a smile on your face and have fun. And, um, that goes back to you know, playing hockey when I was a kid too. So enjoy it. Um, you know, it's hard work. It doesn't last forever. So just take it a day at a time. And I think that's one of the best things that I can do. <laughs> You're getting your miles on the stairs here. They're making you work. Uh, hi Luke, I'm a big fan. Uh, I gave a job interview here last week. Can you put in a good word for me? <laughs> sure, who do I talk to? Uh, it was Cassie and Gray. Alright, come on, thank you. Come on, I'll we'll go right to the top corner. <laughs> When you're playing with uh, with you, have you like how you adjust to his style? Like, is there a special way that you uh, you figure to play with him like different than you play with other guys in your room? Yeah, I mean he's such a unique player. There's there's really only probably you probably count on one hand of guys in the league who, who can you know play this type of game. Guys who can really you know skate their way out of trouble a lot of times. Kind of you know at times almost like a one hand play go and uh, so good at the box. You know like I said. Fly to the is only pretty strong on that Sunday. I think the big thing is, um, you know, high job is to put a battle in the corner and then really smooth. They're moving to the boards, move to him, and, uh, you know, let them kind of get out of place. So he's, uh, he's an incredible player. He's still so young, and, you know, you see the amount of offense and the points he's putting up. He's a uh, real driver for us offensively. He does great on the power play, and uh, privilege for me to play with him. All right, look, look, we got another one up here. Um, how do you decide when you're going to fight? And, uh, I'd like to see a fight more. Uh, uh, I've got to be careful with fighting because every time I fight, my, I come home and my little son will have to be uh, asked while well, I'm, you know, my, my knuckles in my face for a little bit of words so, And then he tries to do it, so i got to pick my, my time for it. I hope you get uh, a few more scraps this year. Yeah, well, it's, scrapping for me is, uh, it's, a, it's still a big part of the game. I think um, there's a time and a place. I think it's, you know, when, when someone takes advantage of maybe a teammate uh, or a There's times where you know, maybe you don't like the way the start of the game was going to be or whatever. You might kind of want to get into to change the momentum a little bit. So, uh, you know, it's, it's changed a lot, but there's not as much of it to leave anymore. So there's definitely a time and a place for it. I still think it's uh, really valuable. But, and it'll have to get me a couple more for you, just to please you. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, look, one more here. Okay. Hey, Luke. Hi. Um, I'm just wondering, on an average, uh, for a game day, what's your prep like? Like, what do you eat, and when do you, like, get ready, train, just for some of these young hockey players that are prepping for games, what do you do? Um, good question. I think actually over the years it's gotten to be a lot more of uh, like a routine that I had. And the older you get, the more I find the more preparation that goes into it. Just you know, based on previous injuries or different things that you have to kind of get warmed up before a game. And, um, a lot of it is mental, where you kind of got to put some things in your head and you know some some ideas that you like to. Achieve one of the game or some things you didn't like last game, you might need to clean up. But physically, for me, it starts coming around in the morning. I do a little bit of a, a workout before the morning skate. Like, actually, I, I like doing like a game day layoff that lift weights. Actually, I feel stronger going into the game if I do it in the morning. And then, uh, pre game skate, usually after that, we have pre game meal here, which is all, you know, they take care of our food and nutrition, which is all super helpful for us to fuel us right going into a game. But then, Come to the rink at about 4 p.m. and uh, start kind of getting 
activated, warmed up. We have a couple meetings before the game, uh, some video going over the other team, and you know, maybe some penalty kill stuff. And then uh, back to uh, another warm up that leads into the auto warm up. So it's a, it's a full day sort of thing. It's, it's not like you just come to the ring where you can throw your skates on and hope for the guys. It's, it's preparation that goes into it, and uh, it's part of the grind. I enjoy it. Hey, thanks for giving us the opportunity to see this today. Um, question is, uh, when you first got into hockey, did you feel that the defenseman was sort of the role you were going to be playing, or did you always have your eyes set on something different? And also, like, what is your mindset as a defenseman uh, different from someone who's playing more forward? Um, yeah, like growing up, when I first kind of got started in hockey, obviously, you're not really playing in position, you're just kind of, uh, you know, played what the coach puts you. My, actually, my dad coached my brother and I growing up, and uh, I was a little bit of a bigger kid, and, uh, you know, my dad was a defenseman growing up, too, and he just thought, you know, I could work on that with him a little bit, and uh, it kind of came a little bit more natural. And then my brother, who's two years younger, you know, he plays in St. Louis now, he was probably a little more gifted offensively, and I, I think that actually had something to do with, um, you know, how he's a forward in NHL defenseman. We always played one-on-one -on -one in our backyard hockey rink from up in Saskatoon, and he would be the younger brother, and he'd probably, probably let him start with the puck a little bit more, and I was playing defense, so uh, that, that probably had something to do with it growing up, but as far as the mindset, the um, whole mindset for me is, is probably different than a lot of guys going into games. For me, it's all about really defending hard, taking care of the front of the net, and, uh, you know, playing hard in the corners, and trying to make it tough on, on opponents, and, and move the puck quick. It's really that simple for me, and, uh, I would love to play a game where, you know, I'm better sitting on the half on the power play watching one timers, but unfortunately that's uh, that's not the cards for me. Hey Luke, Luke, we got another one here. Okay. What was the hardest trick you had to learn? The hardest trick? Trick. Oh trick. Uh on the ice, the hardest trick. Man, oh man. That's a tough one. I think, uh, I think not a trick, but the thing you always work on the most is skating. I think the game is so fast, guys are always working on their skating and, and uh, stick handling and puck handling. I don't, I don't have very many tricks. I'm not much of a trick guy. Either. A little more, uh, a little more simple than that. I thought it'd be the old can opener. Yeah, if you can get away with that, can't do that anymore. That's your error. Okay, I, we got a couple more. Is, is that okay? Yeah. Alright. Raise your hand. Hi, Lou. Uh, I'm a huge fan. I watch like every game. Um, I actually just got a job here. Um, can you also tell me if you try to say hi? Because I always try to get him attended during games. <laughs> Yeah, he's a, he's a little bit zoned out at times. Yeah, you. What's your name? I'll have to ask him a lot. Simona. And right, my I'm best friend, Simona Abby. Simona. Where do you sit? I'll tell him to have a look for you. Yeah. Lily was my best friend in section 105. 105, all right. I'm going to go one day. Yeah, thank you. All right. <laughs> Two more, and that's it for Luke. I think he's got to go. Got a car about for the next game. Can you sit? Miller? 
Miller? Cool. <laughs> oh, wait, you don't know the answer either? No, no of course I, I don't. Like that's why I asked. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Uh, yeah, no, I, I thought we like, had it maybe on the mic up, but I just... I no, we didn't hear anything. It just it was, was like, like in the background. background. Okay. Kind of oh, well, I, I probably recognize the voice. I, I haven't watched that one. So. It was really hard. It was like, oh, yeah, yeah.